Hello guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Aunot and this is PUBG. For this gameplay, I would be survivalist. That means no guns, no ammunition, maybe throwable and armors and backpack medkits like that, but absolutely no guns whatsoever. So, okay, so for this one, we would go to the center of the battlefield and then we will just survive. I guess so. Okay, so I'm really good at parachuting. I can go over so many distance. I will teach you guys how to survive in the wild. <laughs> okay, first things first, we should get our gears first. Then we should get our bearings, and then we should get to the center of the game field. Let's go. Hi, I'm Alnot, and this is Surviving in PUBG. I will be your guide this day. I'm gonna head east to the center of the battlefield, which is over here. So let's go. As you guys know, the circle loses half of its radius every time it moves. Okay, there's some one over there. And it's out. So guys, when you find yourself in the wild, you should always crouch sprint, I mean, because this lowers your profile. And I'm in the red zone. <laughs> when you find yourself in the red zone, you should do these things. First, you must find a tree and then wait behind it. If that doesn't work, just do the serpentine move and get yourself inside the house as fast as possible. Oh no! Oh. Okay, inside, inside, go inside. Okay, okay, okay. Always, always uh, get yourself some backpacks, some helmets, and some vests. The higher the level, the better. Always, always check your surroundings. Use the ALT key It's a free look That means you can look at the 360 degree angle but not disrupt your movements This kind of gameplay is called the camping which as survivalists we should know how to So I'm hearing some shots from the northern side over there so we should go to the south. Find yourself in this situation. Just find a tree line and hide behind it. Never go through an open field. And always, always be alert. In this situation, we don't need food and water. But it would be nice to have some painkillers and some energy drinks. Because you'll never know when you need it. So if you find yourself in this situation, go behind a tree or prone behind a bush. These things would help you survive in the world. As of right now, I have my level 1 helmet, my level 2 backpack, and my level 1 vest. What we're trying to find now are grenades. So someone died in here. You can see the light and box. You can get the glasses to protect us from the sun. You can get a black shirt to protect us from players. The gloves are for hiking. You should get the coat because it would make us look badass. Again, I'm in the red zone, so safety first, guys. If you ever find yourself in this situation, just but hide inside the house and wait for the explosions to end before you can make your way inside the circle again. So it's time to head towards the center of the battlefield. Okay, I hear him. You hear that, guys? That's a motorcycle. So I don't know if it can see us, and it's gone. So crisis averted, and if you ever find yourself in that situation, 
just hide inside the house. Don't go out and don't okay, go prone. That's a helicopter. So this right here. It's a really good field. You can just go prone in the middle of the field and no one will find you. So if you ever find yourself in this situation, crouch sprint. Don't go full sprinting because it would make you look like an idiot. Surviving in the wild, of course, you need your nutrition. So after in the fields, you can gather some edible plants. Like this one. This is called a cherry bush. Because it gives us cherries. So if you ever find yourself in this situation, just grab a berry. Don't mind if it's all red. Don't mind. If they say it's poisonous, you'll need all the meal you can get, all the nutrition you can get from these plants. So right now we're just camping here, and I'm hearing some motor engines. Some shots were fired from the north, that means that's a bad place to go. If you ever find yourself in this situation, just run. But in my case, I'm Aonot, a class A survivalist, and we should be able to survive. If you ever find yourself in this situation, find a vehicle and run people over. And I hear a motor vehicle over there. It's a June buggy. Hope you never see us. We're still safe. We should probably move in the shade. Some quick survival tip for you guys. Always keep moving. If you ever find yourself in this situation that you're wearing black and in an open field, go inside the shade and behind a bush. It will help you survive because of the camouflage. So I don't know where the people are right now And I'm too scared to look This right here is a plant called cotton tail Because of its cottony texture of the flowers This is not a poisonous flower The flowers are bitter They don't like bitter foods The content of these cotton tail plants is actually cotton you can't eat cotton, but you can make badass clothes with the cotton. Surviving in the wild only means that you need to survive in order to live. Trust me, I am our not. And I'm a great day survivalist. So it's just a matter of math to tell you that small area plus many people equals great encounters. Whoa! I'm really glad that guy didn't see us. Okay guys, time to roll up our sleeves and head into the smaller playing area. So right now I'm just gonna dash into the circle. Because I don't wanna die yet. Oh no! Time for our ninja vanish! I was killed! That's it guys for this week's episode of Man vs PUBG Wild. I'm your host, I'm not, and I'm a great day survivalist. <laughs>